if you're struggling to effectively organize your coupons so that you can efficiently plan out your coupon and shopping trips, well, today I'm going to share with you exactly how I organize and plan out my coupon and shopping trips for um, fast doing so that I can get it done and get to the store and get what I need and get back home. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you all the things. So come on, let's go. So as you can see, I have a crate here and in this crate I have uh, my coupons and file folders and file folders and what I do is I have them numbered from 1 to 21 and I usually have a calendar in here but I don't know where I place the calendar and it'll have a number 1 to 21 beside each week so I know when I go to pull um, a particular uh, insert i'll know exactly what week and i also write the week on the front of my insert so here i have week 13 3 13. so i know exactly what week uh this insert goes to so when i'm looking online and it says that it's in the save 3 13 i know i can look at my calendar and find 3 13 and it'll tell me that it's week 13. and that's how i follow them away so that i don't have to reuse uh sticky tabs on my uh folders and so it makes it very easy for me to file and find my inserts so that's one way that i file my inserts so i'm going to show you the other way so i have two ways the i use the crate which is the whole method but then I also clipped some of my coupons, the ones that I know for sure that I'm going to use. And I'm going to show you that. Okay, so this is my file box. And so when you open it up, inside it has categories. So everything is filed away by category. And so on one side it's food and on the other side it's uh, personal care or hygiene or paper type items. And so when I am clipping my coupons, the ones that I know that I'm going to use... I go in here and I find what area it goes in and say that it's a cleaning. I know that I would put it in uh, number 16 and I have each one of these numbered inside of here just like a file folder. So they go inside. So I'm going to show you 16. So that's 16. And so they're all numbered and so when I'm looking for a coupon I just come right here to my category list and I said, oh, laundry, it's number 20. And I go to number 20 and I find my laundry. And then I pull that coupon out, out of this box that I know that I've already clipped. So if it's an item, that's, if it's a coupon that's not clipped, then it's inside of this crate still intact inside the insert hole. Some coupons I do clip, but not a whole bunch. Just the ones that I know for absolute sure I'm going to use. Other than that, I file the insert away whole inside of this crate system. And this keeps everything really organized and in place. And I know where everything is at when I'm ready to get started putting together my deals. So let's go. Let's put together a deal the way that I would put together one of my deals. Okay, so I am inside of my coupon in breakdown savings tracker and this is where I come to put together all my deals I have a nice little spreadsheet here that I've created that allows me to plug everything in and it does the calculating for me so I know that my math is on point and that the number that it spits out to me will be as close to what I'm going to spend out of pocket as possible now, as you can see, I already have a deal in here, and this is from last week, Sunday. These are all the items that I got at the store on Sunday. Well, these are most of the items that I got on Sunday. I actually had to get um, some different things, but this is what a deal looks like when I put it together. And so I come inside of here, and I type in everything that I want. And so this uh, spreadsheet has a couple of different breakdowns. So I can have each breakdown on their own uh, sheet of paper. 
And then I also have the different stores in here as well. So I'm just waiting for it to load up in here. As you can see, I have CVS, Walgreens, and Dollar General. So I'll just click on Walgreens. And it already has a old deal in here. I'm just going to delete them out. And if I was going to do a deal at Walgreens this week, all I would have to do is click in here, type in what I want. Put a price on it. Well, I guess first if I put the quantity, then I can put the price on it. It'll automatically transfer over to the sales total, which will let me know how much of an item I have, like how much overall am I spending. So right now I have $7.99. I only put one item. That's what I have. But if I change this from one to two, it now tells me that my subtotal is $15.98. That's how much in um, product or inventory or merchandise that I'm going to be getting at this moment, $15.98. So if I keep going, I can put the coupon quantity. How many coupons I'm going to use? I'm just going to say one. The coupon value I'm going to say is $2.00. And then again, as you can see, it totals that coupon total. So if I have more than one coupon, let's just say that I put two coupons here. Now you see it gives me a total of $4. Now I can add in my register rewards or my points, and then it'll tell me how much I'm going to pay out of pocket. Well, how much I'm going to pay, yes, out of pocket for each one of these. So I pay $3.99 for each one of these instead of, uh, $7.99, if that was the case, with the coupons and all that. I'm just making this up right now just to give you an example and show you how I put together my deals. And so I just come in here to each one of these, and this is how I put together uh, a deal for the week. Now, I typically do this on either a Friday or a Saturday evening when I am able to look at... Uh, Let's go here. Well, when I'm able to look at iHeart CVS and iHeart Wags, then it would show me um, the flyer for that week. And I can look at the flyer and see everything that I want to get beforehand. So I normally take a peek at the flyer maybe on a Wednesday or Thursday just to see what's in there and if anything excites me then on friday or saturday i'll go back in look at it again and then start to pick out the items that i want to get and then start putting together my deals from the flyer that's on iheart cvs or iheart wags depending on where i'm going to coupon at that particular week now i don't coupon at all the stores on a sunday i pick one to two stores that i'm going to shop at and that's where i shop I'm primarily a CVS shopper and I'm primarily a Kroger's or a Smith shopper. So that's where I shop. I live in Texas, so we have a Kroger's. And so that's where I primarily shop at. So I get all of my personal and hygiene type items from CVS and I get all my groceries from Kroger's. And that is how I coupon shop. And that's how I keep things very stress-free for me. So therefore, I know exactly where I'm going, and what I'm going to be couponing. Now, some weeks I may switch out CVS with uh, Walgreens, depending on what they have at sale, especially at the beginning of the month uh, when they're having those great PNG uh, deals over at Walgreens. I love to go over there and snag those uh, toilet papers and paper towels. So that is how I organize and plan out my couponing shopping trips for the week. Once I have this paper all filled out, I'll go and pull all of my coupons for each one of these items on this list. If I have coupons for them, I'll enter in, uh, like I said, register rewards, the cash or CRTs and ECBs and all that stuff you can add to this list. So I'm just going to show you CVS again. 
just so you can see you can add your crts if you have any and ecbs used so that you can get your overall total for what you're going to be spending out of pocket so you'll have a broad idea of how much is going to be or you have a general idea i should say of what your out-of-pocket total is going to be so that's it if you enjoyed uh trying to see how i plan and organize my videos i want you to watch the video that's on your screen right now it goes into even more detail about using this uh system to plan out my uh coupon and shopping trips so i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video